A minute later, Ellie, her sister, and their dad were settled atop Ellie's llama print bedspread, which was the de facto gathering space in the girls' room, since it was on the bottom bunk. Their dad held two wrapped gifts in his lap, each only a little worse for wear from tumbling twice to the ground. The first was labeled, To Ellie. The second, To Parker. Well, he asked expectantly from his perch at the end of Ellie's bunk. Don't you want to see what mom gifted you this year? Ellie smiled and nodded, but inside she was all twisted up. She did want to see, but also she knew that whatever it was might make her sad. And she knew for sure it would make Parker mad. Every year when dad delivered their special gift from mom, Parker freaked. Why doesn't she hand it to us herself? She always asked. Takes a real coward to try to buy our forgiveness. Because she can't, Ellie always explained patiently, like it was a script she was reading from. Well, she's out there somewhere, Parker would say. Obviously. How else would she have known to plan our birthday gifts in advance? It's because she left on purpose, and now she thinks a dumb gift every year will make up for it. Ellie had spent a lot of time when she was a kid worried that terrible things would happen to Parker or their dad because a terrible thing had happened to their mom. Their father had explained that their mother's circumstances were exceptional. She was an environmental activist who had a job working in places that were going through catastrophic events like fires and floods or the loss of entire animal populations. Still, one time, when she was seven, Ellie got so scared something would happen to their dad, she buried their father's car keys in their mom's old garden. It took ages to find them. She never would have left us if she could help it, Ellie told her sister year after year. The truth Parker couldn't accept was that their mom was dead. She'd left gifts because she had had a responsibility to help protect the planet when it was in peril. There had always been a chance she would not come back. And then one day, it had happened. Their dad had explained all that. Your mother was a brave person who died doing something she knew was dangerous, but which she also knew was important, he told them. But that doesn't mean something bad is going to happen to me. If their mother was always running into dangerous situations... It made sense to Ellie that she had been prepared when it came to their birthdays. It meant she loved them more, not less. After all, knowing when something bad was going to happen seemed to be something adults knew about. And kids didn't. Ellie was tired of having to explain it herself and tired of hearing Parker say, Died scuba diving? Give me a break. That sounds like a story someone made up. Actually, it sounds like one of those stories she used to tell us when we were little. She probably made it up herself. I'll take a pass on the present, Parker said now. We're already late for school anyway. Clara said she was planning a surprise, and I want to get there before the first bell. She stared at the boxes like they might be holding tarantulas, which Ellie wouldn't have minded. Ellie thought all those furry legs moving this way and that had a delicate, graceful air. Were there ballerinas in the spider community? Probably.